Hey guys, Trif Gritchley here today with and we're back with Dark Season 2, Episode 3. Uh, I'm just going to jump pretty much straight into this one, guys, because I'm sure you just watched the last part, the last part of it, last episode's reaction. But yeah, really enjoyed the last episode, just looking forward to jumping into this. So as usual, guys, leave a like and subscribe. So is Holga the first one what succeeds then in the upgraded one? Because it's obviously he's still around. So he finally figured it out then. He did fucking how he has upgraded the machine. That explains why we don't see like a younger Helga running around. So he must send him back. Mate, he actually got the thing working. Oh, it's the two girls in it. Awkward. <laughs> what would be going through your head? <laughs> Of course I'm about to start off with a touch of the hand. They ship me forward. Oh yeah, be ready to boo as well back then as well. That's why I probably need to keep it hush hush. Not just because of the cheating part, but yeah. So that succeeded them. Like I say, that now explains that situation with his proper with Jonas because I was like wouldn't he be uh, a kid in 1986 instead but no or 2019 she looks like he's picking up the sign then You want to do something. Oh, did she have a flashback? Because she had a little moment about the past. She said she didn't want to be like her mum when she grew up. But, oh no, ironically, she did turn into that. I love how stunned the daughter is. See, that's what happens where you can just shake it a bit of love. I have the big book. <laughs> Tick tock. Also, ich wollte nur mal schauen, wie es dir so geht. Do you know what? From start from season one, when you first meet Helga, and he's walking out of the hospital as a crazy man into the courtroom. You never would, I would have never expected where his story went and how he's developed. Warum hast du mir das geschenkt? Ich hab gedacht. <laughs> Why are there so many dodgy characters in this show? Meine Mutter liebt dich, weißt du das? Sie wird dich sehr glücklich machen, wenn du sie lässt. Was ist das? Meine Mutter liebt dich. Meine Mutter liebt dich. Du weißt das? Oh ja. No, es ist nicht ihre Mutter, es ist die Evil Mutter. Sie wird dich sehr glücklich machen, wenn du sie lässt. Hagi Tannhaus? How I never noticed that. Sie haben dieses Buch geschrieben. Ich habe mich gefragt, wann es soweit ist. Wann wir uns wiedersehen. Ich kenne sie überhaupt nicht. Ah, what you do? We met in the past when all it was here. Yeah, who gets your work? I'm complete. Yeah. 
See, the one thing I like about this closed off ward stuff, it just it told it pretty much explains why Ulrich didn't go and try and warn his older self or do something other because he's basically locked up. I believe that's how it works anyway. He's locked up, so he couldn't interfere. He can't just leave like um, Helga did. No, but explain it to us. Oder eine Information aus der Zukunft in die Vergangenheit geschickt. Dadurch entsteht ein unendlicher Kreis. So basically, this book, he never, he never actually wrote, it's just sort of that endless cycle where it's there. Er existiert. Ohne same with the letter, same with the time machine. Ah, gut. That's mad. Das ist alles eine Frage des Ursprungs. Wo ist der Anfang? Which I was questioning earlier about, like, who was the first straight the stranger slash Jonas to cause the paradox? Which was just sort of like, like someone said in the comments, it's just always there. I'm really going to love the way you're watching this show because I'm going to know. Now I'm sort of clicking on who's who in each timeline quite easily. Whereas when I rewatch it, I'll be fucking. I know who's who hopefully perfectly. So it'll just be so much easier to follow. And things I might have missed in the past, I'm going to get now. Don't worry, we'll one day, my, my friend. No, I have to be creepy somewhere else in another time. He knows he's getting all the screen time now. He's getting all the screen time, yeah. I don't for fucking thing more. <laughs> Just I think I'm, I think more screen time he gets, the less I know about the guy. <laughs> Ich ein braunes und ein blaues Auge. Das ist selten. Es tut mir leid, wirklich. What are you saying sorry for? What do you do? What do you do? God damn it. Boom. Danach treffen mit den Gewerkschaftsleuten. Sagen Sie alle Termine ab. Da ist noch was, Ihr Vater. Er ist hier. Ich wusste nicht, wohin mit ihm. <lacht> Just keep piling on the problems.
Ich wollte dich nicht beunruhigen. Oh, ich darf nicht auf seine. Aber jetzt hat er Krebs gestreut. Und ich dachte, es ist besser, wenn du das weißt. Ich weiß gar nicht, was ich sagen soll. Schon okay. Oh, ich hätte Chance, say in the future. Ich wollte nur, dass du Bescheid weißt. Die Welt hatte ich nicht verdient. Klick. I love how we get so much character development for characters. Like when when you first met met him in when he was just I being an ass to Ulrich, to now being like his past self and his future self, and you're just like, oh, man, he's quite a fucking good dude. <laughs> like he is a good guy. Like he did really try to find uh, Mads. It's just like yeah, you just get so much character development from going to past and future. It's so nice. Is this a Yes, you. Wo ist er? Du hast es gewusst, dass er hier ist. Du hast es die ganze Zeit gewusst. Wo ist er? Wo ist er? Okay, that's probably why I didn't want to come jumping out, trying to get out as well, because he didn't want to see me still. Well, he got a reaction. See, I like how it covers our plot holes. Like, yeah. It's like, oh, why does he not try and get out? Or what was that? Because, like, one, he is trapped there, obviously. Because, like, he didn't even know his son was in that time period. So he didn't sort of, like, try as hard as he probably could have as well. I feel sorry for this guy. Just put everything put on him. I really grew to like him as well. It's a shame he's going to die. From fear. You keep the light on, you keep the light on. The and then everything begun. Sie hat dich verraten. She, yeah, but she knew she was going to be betrayed because she knew she was going to die. Ich bin mit der Wimper gezogen. Du hast mir alles genommen. Du wirst sterben. Und mit dir alles, wofür du stehst. Ich weiß, dass ich sterben werde. Aber werde ich diese Partie verlieren? But not the war. Oder ist das hier? Unser Treffen, du und deine Waffe. Nur ein Teil eines Spiels, von dem du immer noch nicht... Du bang. Savage. That's how she knows she dies. Because she gives that to the younger Cla Claudia. These missing notebook pieces. Same way a father goes. Ja, all unsere Leben. Hi. Oh, it doesn't give him in. Who's who? Why was he crying? What the f Ugh, that's too much connection. So yeah, whatever Noah found in those notes, I don't know if I'm supposed to know what he found, but I'm guessing for him to hide it from Adam, it must have not been something he wanted to see. And then we've got Claudia's sort of like first steps at time travelling now. And that's pretty much begins the whole like <laughs> loop, I guess, in a way. It's like the loop's finally started. 
Yeah, no, that definitely um intense episode. It pretty much just sh- shows that everything started now. These loops is now I want to even know even more about Noah, and then sort of Claudia's like plot hole, a lot of plot holes in it. Not, not saying the show had plot holes. I'm just saying like it fills in any holes that people might have, especially with like Ulrich and then Claudia you knowing how does she know she dies because she has a piece of paper that she wouldn't understand what it meant until she was older and saw herself. And blah 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 blah. And then they started the time travel sort of thing. And then all the character development, the amount of character that we're going to get in the show because of like time travel, like Tiedemann and the dad. I didn't like his character when he was first introduced. I thought, why is he being dicked to Ulrich? Well, because we learn more about him. He is just generally a good guy and he is just trying to figure stuff out. And yeah, it seems like he has a sad end with his dying of his cancer. But yeah, he really was a good man. And like, you got that development because you kept learning about his past self. And you get that with quite a few characters. And I'm definitely sure in season, later on in season two, and like especially in season three, we're going to get even more of that. And that's one thing I love about the show is that you get character development for characters who are either dead and got. Missing Dick's in the future, like Helga. Like Helga's so different that like you, when you first meet him, you would never have expected the way to. This is what 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 made him what he is when you first meet him, and it's just like a lot of characters. I love, when I watch season one again, I'm just gonna be like, oh mate, what he's like in like season two, he's so different, and it's like, oh that's why he's like that, and it's like yeah, no, very interesting. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please do like, subscribe, and I hope to see you next week. Peace.